Where's your wife? Where's your wife? I'm not married. She's still, she's here. She's your wife? Yeah. About to marry. Huh? About to marry. She's my girlfriend. You want to marry her? Yeah. You want to marry him? Yes, sir. Eh? Yes, sir. But you must listen to him. Okay. Eh? Yes, ma'am. Will you do that? Yes, ma'am. Eh? Come here, let me pray. I want to pray for you because you've been trying many things. You understand? Right now you were supposed to be a millionaire. That is, that is why I've come. Eh? That is why I've come because I'm a pastor, so I've come to see you. That's the reason why we came in. Yes. Because I don't know you. I'm just saying that, you know, it, it will be like you are playing with this girl. Whereas you are meaning it when you say you want to marry. But certain is play with your finances. You understand? So now when I pray for you, you need to break this curse in your family of failing to marry. It's right. the case of the family. By marrying this lady now. Do you want to marry her? Yes, sir. You must tell me the truth. Yes, I want. Eh? I want. You want to marry her? Yes, sir. So when do you want to marry? This year, I got Greece. This year? Yeah. Tell me the time. Around September, later. Stop there. Stop there. September. And how long you are with her? For three months now. You don't have a child somewhere? I have. A child? Yes, two. Two? Eh? Two boys. And then what are you saying about those boys? Sir? What are you saying about this child that I've seen? I love them. They are my kids. Eh? I love them. They are my you kids. love them? Yeah. You know them? They come to you? No, not yet. Some things are very tough. You, I don't know how you people, maybe that's the reason why prophets, they just call you, your name is Umho. You, you, you stay in mid-range. They are afraid to talk some things. Brother, how far is with you with the mother of the children? Sir? How far is the relationship between you and the mother of the children? Cordial relationship, sir. Cordial? Yeah. <laughs> Can you use another word? Close relationship, maybe. I want everybody to understand what you're saying. And uh, if you have got close relationship with the mother of children, did you decide to marry this one and leave the mother of children? Yes, I have decided. Somewhere, somehow, I'm not agree with you. I'm very sorry. I want to pray for you, but I don't want you to, because there's a spirit, like I told you in your family, that makes people to fail to marry. And that spirit is the one that, you know, is playing in your mind now and in your life. You understand what I'm saying? All right. Huh? Yes, sir. Because if now you'll be driving yourself by saying this girl is beautiful and you leave mother of your children, let's talk about it. What do you say about it? This lady, you don't know her. You met her three months ago. Now you want to marry her next September. And you have close relationship with the mother of your children. You mean business when you say you want to marry this one? Are you sure? Yes. And then you are leaving the mother of your children? Be because we are not together. Huh? We are not together now. With who? The mother of my children is back home in Nigeria. Then I'm here. What is the reason why you are not together? Because, you are because close. She, she, she is not, um, she is not ready to come here, over here to South Africa. Then anytime soon, I'm not ready to go back to Nigeria. That's why. That's the reason why you 
separate? It's not a separation. I just left Nigeria. You, you are right now. Yeah. I think uh, that's what I, wa I wanted to say, that you are still with the mother of your children. It's not true. Yeah. And now you find this one here because you are here. Yes. And you promised to marry her in September. And uh, so which one is true? I mean, if you still have a mother of your children and you want to marry the lady of three months, are you not confusing yourself? No, because I'm sure that I want to marry her. Okay, what if circumstances takes you back to Nigeria? I don't see any circumstances soon that will take me back. Remember, you are still, your relationship with the mother of your children is still powerful. It's not true. Yes. So now, I'm afraid for this girl and you now. You have met three months ago. That's why I say, me, I don't want to confuse you also. Allow me to be confused. I'm very much confused with you now. You don't be confused. You know what you want. I want to leave it that way. I'm leaving it. As long as you know what you want to do. Isn't it? Eh? Okay, God bless you. Oh, others are complaining. They want me... <laughs> You want me to carry on with that? Ah, brother, they want me to carry on. Okay, let me ask people, what is your concern? Brother, I don't know you, and I'm happy for you. But I don't want this spirit. There's a spirit in your family. You hear me, my brother? Eh? It confuses issues of marriage. You've got two boys now. Now I just see one boy. And this one boy is going to be great. And that is why I'm saying to you, okay, what if circumstances can take you back to Nigeria? Are you going to go with her? Yes, we will discuss that, sir. Let's allow her to talk. Yes, we've been discussing those issues. Where do you come from? Me? Uh. I'm from Jobek. You're from Jobek? Yes. Mm. Okay. Because, you know, this lady, don't take it serious. She's concerned, as I'm concerned too. But my concern is not you. Okay. You understand? Okay. My concern is him. Because there are two boys now. And I will see one boy, so I'm concerned about him on the case of his family, not you. Okay. You... I mean, you agree with him. You are, these are two boys. It's not a girl, two boys. And you, I don't think you can have a boy. I don't think so. Because if these boys can cry, God will never answer your prayer. Allow me to say that. So, this is not your fault. And I can't blame this man. And then the, <laughs> the issue she's saying, she's also concerned as an older sister, because many have done that. But now, we cannot say when one person did wrong, all can do that. So we cannot judge that brother. My concern is him, in his family. A person will have a good relationship and he leave that relationship. But him has not left his own relationship. He's still close to his wife and children. And he loves his children. And my brother, I don't think he can afford to be with this lady without a child. I don't think so. I mean, uh, but I want to close it there also. Because... I felt if I carry on, 
I'll be judging if I carry on. But I don't want to bring confusion. I wanted them. Can they establish what they're saying? I don't think so. If they can establish that. Because my concern, I saw a boy crying. You heard me, my brother? Yes, I do. Yeah, so, not two, one. Only one boy crying. God can hear that boy. And what will happen to your relationship? So, I think you people go and sit down again and uh, be close to me for counseling. You hear, you hear me? All right, sir. Be close to me for counseling, brother. Uh, if it's for papers, I will say no. You don't need to live an holy life to get papers. Because you are a person who was following God before. It's not true. It is not for papers, sir. I uh, know. I'm saying it's for okay. papers. So I will say no. But if you say it's for love, I'm saying go and review this love. You sit down. You conclude together that I've got two children and I'm close. And also my sister also needs to have intelligence. I mean, this man have got two children. They are in Nigeria. Uh, when I say where is she coming from, it's a problem of our children. How old are you? Huh? 27 years old. 27 years. I mean, if you are 27 years, you are supposed to have intelligence. Um, uh, if you say you are 17, I will understand. But you are supposed to be wise here of saying, if I am agree with this man, am I going to stand for everything? If you say yes, I won't talk. You say what? <laughs> I do support him, man of God. No, say yes or no. Yes, I've said yes. Say that. You can say that. Because you know what, my brother? There are some people that, when you say, this one is a TV, they say, no, I will see it when I reach there. And such people, you cannot even correct them. They want to reach there. All right, sit down, brother. You are blessed. Can you see, I don't know anybody here. If I come to you, I say, ah. Okay, sit down, I want to tell you something. If I come to you and say, the place you are doing ministry, it's a wrong place. I'm telling you the truth. Because number one, I've got nothing to gain from you. You hear what I say? And if you fail, I failed. What is the reason why I am supposed to pray for you? What is it that you have learned there? To those? Uh, I've learned that, <laughs> I don't know if I will be judging, but you are supposed to let the will of God to be done. Yes. Thank you. Clap hands for it. <laughs> Let me hear, come here. What have you learned today? You're a prophet. What I've learned is that the thing that um, uh, the man was supposed to do, it was to end, if it was the will of God, was going to end the first relationship before he could, he started another one. I will tell you what is the problem we have today. But I will tell you later. Can I tell you? Eh? The problem is, many people have been in a church and they have not seen the move of God. And because of that, whatever comes their way, they use it as an opportunity. That's the main problem we have today. They have never seen how God can do. You see a person like me, that God say, go to a dustbin place and start a church. And this church will be known all over the world. And I come and I end up being known. I know the move of God. I won't fight for anything. I will always say, I want to hear God. I want to hear God. But now, the problem is, people have never learned the move of God. That God can take someone 
from the bush. God now can, you see, God can leave every, all of us here. He goes to the bush there and raises his servant who's having an anointing like of Elijah. All people, even wise people, will go there. Can you see where Tibi Joshua is now? The prophet. It's a place, it's not, it's outside of, that side of, small place of Lagos. That's why God has been doing that. If you search all these servants of God, they went to the bush side there and they lift the standard. So our people now, especially Nigeria, Nigeria is a place where gospel started. Others, they've done a lot to reach there. But they started with revival to bring it to South Africa so that we shoot it out. You understand? So now, unfortunately, we are failing to shoot it out. Things like this will always happen to our sisters. Our sisters can see that. It's still going to happen. You'll be surprised. This girl, she's denying this person who knows. She's married by a foreign. Tomorrow, problems. Other people who are here now, they've got wives at home. And they are staying with wives here. And they are Christians. Others who are here right now in South Africa, you don't even know their same names. They are, they are called, I mean, Jeremiah, James, John, everything in the Bible, Daniel. Go to where they come from. You'll be surprised. And then now when they come to you, you think you'll marry a person like me called Jeremiah. And then your surname will be called Jeremiah. You are Jeremiah here, but there, you are not Jeremiah, you are Buju Buju. <laughs> the day you reach there, you find Buju, Buju, Buju. Already you are married. Here in South Africa, you appear bold like a madam. But there, there's Buju Buju. I'm sure you hear what I'm trying to say. You people. Listen, I'm not saying people, foreigners are different with us. We are the same. But those who don't fear God, uh, they are doing it. Uh, they are really, I mean, how can, I'm just giving an example now. What is the meaning of this? What is it that, my question was, I was supposed to be saying, what is it that happened to this girl? What is it that, I, that she has never seen in her life? To extend that within three months, she can just say, yes, I will marry no matter what. So what is it? She might have seen something that, you know, other people are not having. What is it? It's buju buju. <laughs> You hear what I say? Eh? That's how you people now, you people now, you are in danger now. The day when you wake up like this, you'll be surprised you are under occult. I'm telling you now. The day you wake up like, boom, ah! It's like, you just say, oh, 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 dun, dun. Oh, oh. you enter here, yeah, you have arrived. When you look there, you see a head of a man, a head bleeding. You say, oh, oh, hey! So, I'm not saying that brother is doing that. I'm just guiding you. That you young people, you are not praying, you are not asking God, you are playing. So, those ones, I think, I can't guide them. I'll tell you why. Because they finish with their mind. They have concluded, they have reached their level. But I promise that brother, I will sit down with him. But it's like he has left now. Where is the brother? Where's the brother? He's outside. He has left. Can you see that? I'm sure you understand what I'm trying to say. So, can you see why now 
your name is Rufuno. Amen. Oh, yeah. We are afraid to tell you that the root cause of your problem. The problem is this now. This is the main problem. I mean, let's leave who's who, who's a problem. We deal with problems. God bless you. Thank you.